It was 10.30 p.m. March 27, 2008. Pennsylvania Trooper Kenton Iwanek was driving home from work in Chester County when a black Chevy Tahoe driving 73 in a 45 without its lights on hit him head on. He died a few hours later. She crested a hill, crossed the center line, and he had no chance. He didn't make a defensive move, never hit his brake. She never hit her brake either. I mean, it was, it, it, it was impossible for him to see her. Acacia Houck, Kenton's sister, told Penn State students, even if they aren't driving under the influence, they are still responsible for the people around them. If you see someone who is under the influence of drugs or alcohol, don't let them get into a vehicle. Don't get into a vehicle with someone who has been drinking or under the influence of drugs. Penn State students say the tips they told everyone tonight are important reminders and easy to do. The Uber riding and to call your friends an Uber, I think that's something the college students like ourselves could definitely utilize very easily and something that I do see a lot of, and that something as easy as going on an app. Houck says their family started the Trooper Iwanek Foundation to raise money to buy breathalyzers. Now it's become a way to continue his legacy. As a family, we realize you can never prepare yourself for this kind of experience, um, but really we turned to our faith and found strength in each other, and are really just using the life that Ketton lived to help to continue to share his message.